Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the news. Let's get right into it for this week. Oh, oh yeah, let's, uh, wheel. Doom, spin, yep. Nothing. I've spun this wheel so many times and haven't got anything, and there's items I'm missing. Where are they? RNG. Fun mechanics. All right, so, uh, August DM'd me. Uh, if you ever DM me on Twitter, by the way, if you're an artist or someone on Twitter like Alina or someone like that, and you tell me something that should be private and kept private, I will keep it private. But please make it clear to me that it's private. I'll, I'm assuming this is not private. I didn't ask. And uh, he did tweet publicly about this, so I, I feel fine sharing it. But yeah, if it is private, let me know. Okay, moving on. Uh, so this set right here is coming out tomorrow. Now, I really like the eyes on this set right here. Uh, apparently, the custom head morph is not included with what's coming out tomorrow. Kind of sad, but that's probably like an AQ engine something, or I don't know why. Uh, you can see what the AQ default head looks like right there. Uh, I asked, what about the cool eyes? And he said that it looks like this now. So it's a bit different, kind of the same, kind of not. But uh, yeah, I do really like the hair. That shading on the hair looks really good. And uh, yeah, it's probably some of my favorite shading for hair. A lot of the times the artists don't get the hair shading quite right. I think this does look good, although we'll have to see what it looks like with different colors other than uh, gray. Although it does look good with the red there. So yeah, that is the first little bit of news. Let's move on to the next thing. So this was tweeted out around Monday. And if you want a three letter name, I think it costs 2k AC to rename. 1k or 2k, I think it's 2k AC to rename. So it's kind of pricey, 10 bucks for rename. Not as pricey as Roblox. Roblox, it's like minimum $30. I looked into that uh, <laughs> for my Roblox account. But yeah, 10 bucks to rename. So not too expensive, not too cheap either. Um, as far as the rename goes, there's only 3,000 names in Quest that are three letters currently, uh, like 3,200. And there's over 30,000 available total. So you should have a good, uh, a good selection of three letter names. Uh, of course, the popular ones will be taken, but you know, still good selection. You should be able to find one that's uh, cool if you want a three letter name. So yeah, they're probably gonna make bank off of that, I'd imagine. A lot of people changing their names and uh, yeah, pretty cool. I really do need to stop saying pretty cool. So Alina tweet this out. I guess they're doing more the, and the shoe on the right foot or left foot, I guess, uh, the right side of the picture. That triggers me to no end. I hope that isn't on the final art that goes in the game, cause that just looks. That's that's like that's a I, what do you call it? Like a cursed image? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the female version, so I'd assume that's not actually going to be in the game. But, and the female version of this looks just weird. Uh, it looks kind of weird on the male version, to be honest. But the female version, very weird. I mean, it's got to do with the large feet, I bet. So if you look at my character in game. My foot doesn't look that big, does it? Uh, like, proportional to the leg. The foot, a little large for a female, but it's not huge, right? Uh, some about when they give them abnormally, normally large feet. Just, yeah, those feet are gigantic. So, <laughs> that's my criticism of the art. Uh, I don't know what it's for. They asked for logos. I, I thought, you know, an alien might be good. So, yeah, stuff like that. Who knows what, the, what it's for, kind of an alien vibe from the green and black uh, color scheme this week's event is attack on arcane grove or arcane grove arcane grove whatever it's called uh so there's war rares and permanent rewards shadow grove is the map name that will be out tomorrow uh the shadow dragon master on the right and mana shaper mage armor sets are coming out so that's crew long art definitely and that's august as i showed before um and yeah lays uh, dragon stuff is coming out too the dragon lord uh, so the Dragon Lord will be Shadow Slayer General, and it will be a rare version of the class. If you read it right here, uh, find the Shadow Flame Dragon Lord armor set, Shadow uh, Shadow Dragon minion cape, and the Shadow Flame Dragon Lord class skin in the War Rare shops. So they're calling it the class skins now. It's just uh, you get you get sh uh, the Dragon Slayer General class with a rare version cosmetically nothing changes about the skills but you get a cosmetic rare there if you want it so that's pretty cool uh 
it'd be better if we were getting better classes, I guess, or rare classes with new skins and stuff would be cool. I read that on Reddit, uh, and I agree with that Reddit comment. And uh, yeah, so, but pretty cool that we're getting a little rare thing there. It's really no effort for them to do that. Well, it's probably some effort, but you know, minimal effort compared to like making a new class or other stuff like that. So uh, it's good to include, I guess. And uh, yeah, adds a little bit of some stuff to change it up. Speaking of changing it up, uh, if you have the Nalgath Challenge pet, congratulations uh, on buying that really, really bad pet back in the day. I don't know why you purchased that uh, beyond me, but if you did, lucky you. Uh, Asuka decided, hey, let's uh, let's 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 pull the old switcheroo and uh, add a cool quest to a rare pet. Uh, so yeah, time to get an item of donating awesomeness and buy this uh, pet, I guess. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, there is more news on the item of donating awesomeness uh, further on in this video also. So uh, you get a choice between 10 blood gems, 20 tainted gems, or 40 uh, dark crystal shards for uh, as a daily quest. So every day you can pull 40 uh, DCS or 40 tainted gems out of there, or 10 blood gems if you need them. So that's actually a really, really good quest. And uh, yeah, so if you have a challenge pet, pull it out of your bank, pull it out of your buyback. Pretty cool. And I really hope this isn't a trend of them uh, updating rare items. Uh, put it on something we can get, please. Like, that's absolutely... Yeah. I I have some words, but I won't say them. Pretty stupid. All right? Moving on. Speaking of the item of donated awesomeness. Uh, so, this person asked for uh, item of donated awesomeness, max letter, or max limit, and three-letter usernames. It's been a while. And uh, only no link to the post about the three letter usernames and uh yeah uh three letter username update what about the limit on the item of donate awesomeness uh the goal is to raise them this year we're looking to building a new system to automate the uh rewards that way you um you could choose the reward from the available items through the account manager no need to submit a request ticket uh with the influx of uh donate awesomeness supported tickets we receive each week we need to set up a uh, set up in place before we can increase the cap so it, once they automate it I guess they'll increase the cap at the same time so there's news on I'm doing awesome if you have the max of that there should be more available in the future if you have the hankering to spend a lot of money on rare items all right moving on probably why they do things like update the Nolgaf challenge pet so you spend a lot of money to get it would be my guess some good news though well, not the last thing wasn't good news. That's good news for a lot of people and for AE. But uh, good news for players that are excited for Talk Like a Pirate Day. Uh, both the Legion Pirate Caster and Legion Lieutenant sets will be coming in during Talk Like a Pirate Day. And then, of course, Yokai Naval Commander is already uh, confirmed. Color custom features are also locked in for that. So it will be white based. I don't think the white will be color custom on the Yokai Naval on the right. But uh, the teal you see there, or green, or whatever color that is will be color custom and that is pretty pretty neat and uh yeah stuff on the right too i'm a, a huge fan of that legion gear it's pretty gray i don't really see a lot of you know whatever you can make legion stuff gray if you want but uh yeah moving on well we're talking about pirates uh so i think last week i brought up that the captain armor for friday 13th captain from furrow was coming out uh i think at the same time he also mentioned that or he posted that the naval commander is also coming out so the 13th naval commander commanders plural and the pirate captains so female male i think that's what he's referring to with the plural um are coming out so we're getting captain and naval commanders for the friday 13th theme if you didn't know september 13th is talk like a pirate day or a talk one of the talk like a pirate day events it might be a two or three week event who knows but uh, one of the events is on going to be uh, happen on Friday the 13th, so this stuff should be coming out on the 13th of September. Pretty cool. I think we've seen this a few times, like a Necromancer version of a talk of a naval talk of Pirate Day, naval commander. Looking good. I'll leave a link in the description, like I do for everything. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Another cool naval design. Uh, Arisa, Arisa said it was a kind of a older design that they made, but uh, yeah, still looks really good. I like the color a lot on this. Uh, that head, if that head, if there wasn't the collar and that head was moved up a little bit, I think that would be what I would prefer. But you know, I didn't make it, and it looks good. 
greatest. You can tell Baido really likes the diamond shape. He puts it on everything, um, including this quite a bit. A naval commander from Baido. Um, gonna guess. I'm gonna guess based off the uh, two from Lei, uh, the two from the captain and the naval from Furrow. This. This is going to be a 10k or 20,000, 20k chest, stuff like that, coming out for uh, probably 10k, hopefully, for Talk Like a Pirate Day. I would bet on that, so get your AC stacked up for September. That is less than two months away at this point, so pretty cool. Uh, speaking of pretty cool, uh, Adam is getting map art for the game, along with uh, the stuff that uh, Lay and August are coming out with tomorrow, and Krulong looks like he has stuff coming out tomorrow, so a bunch of different artists have stuff coming out tomorrow. And it looks like uh, Adam did the map art, so that's pretty sick. Looks like Shadow Slayer is hopping in the commission game, or has been in it for a little bit. Uh, you know, see a bunch of commissions from Lay. I guess we've seen some from Shadow Slayer. It's good that they're getting uh, work from commissions for flash art. Pretty cool stuff here. And uh, this looks like a uh, like a villain from a comic book. Pretty cool. I'm obliged to say pretty cool after uh, everything we, we look at. Cause I do think it, most of it's pretty cool, you know, uh, including this from it, this, the crab commission. This I, I think probably crab commissioned this, although it doesn't say here. But I'm assuming that crab commissioned this, or someone did, or yeah, it's a crab nation thing from LHG. I, I like LHG a lot. Very good artist, and uh, yeah, that's kind of scary looking in a good way. All right, drama. Uh, so crab. I, we were just talking about Crab a few, a few seconds ago. Uh, called out Rare on tracing for some of his art. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not all of his art, but some of it. And from what I understand in the art world, tracing is pretty bad. You know, it's basically plagiari uh, plagiarism, basically. Uh, it's, it's a good way to learn, from what I understand. But you don't want to be, like, selling traced art or anything like that. Uh, or, like, claiming that it's your own. Uh, so, yeah, Rare admitted to it. Uh, there's a doc here. I'll go over it real quick, uh, because I think I, I can make a point or two. So this is, I, I don't really get this one. I, it might be inspired, but it, and it might be, the hair might be traced, but just looking at it generally, it looks like he did put in a decent amount of work to turn that into a, like an AQ item and, or it's, uh, inspired. So, I, you that could be traced. I don't know about that one. This one looks very, very similar. That's yeah. Um, apparently, the, this coat is like an exact copy. Uh, the if you look at the just the bottom part of the coat, of course, he retextured it, but the uh, shape itself is like an exact copy. This one, I actually I, I'll defend him on this one. Uh, this is an L96. If you Google image search that. The Accuracy International Arctic Warfare Rifle is a bolt-action sniper rifle designed and manufactured by British company Accuracy International. Uh, this is a real-world uh, sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, you can see it right here. You can see the place where the bolts are, the way the the grip is, the way the magazine's in there. It's it's hard to like call someone out for tracing that when you're you could basically just trace a real image of it and it would look exactly the same as if you traced it copying it from video game art or whatever I would imagine uh, and it, you'd kind of want to trace something like this because if you're trying to get it accurate to the real life version of the gun you would want it to be as accurate as possible right it's not so I could see a point to that but and he definitely didn't copy this because if you look closely at this the ang uh, the war face took it and they modified it a little bit to make it so it's not like copyright infringement on Accuracy International, uh, it, on the like the official one. Like the magazine is a little tilted. There's a little there's like grooves in the thing there. They changed it up a little bit from the official one and um, actually, the one that Rare made is actually closer. Other than the double suppressor thing on the end of it, the one Rare made is actually a little closer to the official one. So it might be actually infringing on. The real copyright of the real weapon but i don't think it's uh art theft or anything like that or like tracing or whatever uh this one that's pretty blatant you see look at that for like two seconds so is this one that's very blatant um this is just inspiration that's the same shape as yeah like there could be an image they copied but i it's not that image uh that's for sure it's definitely just inspiration this one 
if you look at the uh, coat there and you look at that yeah uh, that's of course like if you take AE art and then you just turn it into something else I don't think that's bad or anything especially if you're trying to make yeah like you're trying to make a human morph on a pet I don't think it's bad at all it's okay with that and this just I don't understand it's the skull like the same skull I don't yeah I don't get what that is all about but uh, yeah he admitted to it and uh, that's a little bit of drama there it's I'm sure he'll uh, fix it in the future and uh, hopefully and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure he won't be tracing anything in the future that's kind of a little weird topic I don't think we've ever covered any like real do 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 drama alert stuff on this channel before but uh, there you go so I don't really know why Alina posted this I guess people ask her a lot about AQ2D or the mobile version of Adventure Quest Worlds uh, for those that don't know and yeah there's basically this post like hey we made we made the original Adventure Quest, then we made Worlds, then we made this game, uh, and next we're gonna do Adventure Quest 2. Does this mean that this staff, like the main staff group, is gonna move to AQ2D? I don't think it does. I, I think it means that these people are moving to this game, uh, or they'll split these people in half into this one, and then half and half, and then both will suffer. I don't know. I, I hope... I, 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 I shouldn't be speaking on staff. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, who knows how they're going to staff each game, but uh, they just say what we already know here, and people are looking for Adventure Quest 2D updates a bunch. We can't wait until it's ready for player testing, is what they say at the end. Uh, they said that they wanted it to be playable by the end of this year, so we're getting, we're in the middle of this year. Uh, the end of it's coming up soon, so yeah, we'll see on that one. I, I think they might. There's a chance that we could be testing it, but who knows? I, I'm very, I'm cautiously optimistic about AQ2D. Will it actually happen? Will it be good? We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, yeah, so I will be streaming the event tomorrow. If you guys want to come and watch that, uh, it will be, there will be quite a bit of content from what I showed. Uh, they got the lay set. You got Krulong's set, or at least I think that's Krulong's art, I, I'm assuming. Um, I don't think he officially posted on Twitter. Uh, August set, new quest update tomorrow, and it should be pretty good. I'll be streaming that on this channel. Uh, thank you to all of the uh, sponsors for the channel. I actually updated that. Our YouTube had an update, so there's now a $2 tier and a $10 tier, $10 or $15. So, and then also the $5 tier that was there before. So if you like to sponsor the channel, Help support the channel. That'd be cool. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.